Hi everyone, this is my 32 week pregnancy update. I am 32 weeks and 3 days today. Yeah, so 32 weeks, I cannot believe it. Last week I entered the single digit countdown, I cannot believe I am in the single digit countdown. Literally, I only have 5 weeks, a little less than 5 weeks, like 4 weeks and 4 days till I am full term. I cannot believe it. He could be here in four and a half weeks. That's absolutely crazy. I don't think he will be, but um, he could be. And that is just absolutely crazy to me. And I am so excited to meet my little boy, you guys. I cannot wait to see his little face and just breathe him in and smell him and fill him and just, yeah, I am so excited. So I guess I will just start off with, I had a midwife appointment yesterday and everything went really good. My blood pressure is still looking good and I gained one pound since my last appointment, which was two weeks ago. So if I could just gain one pound every two weeks from here to the end, that would be really good. I think so far total, I've gained 28 pounds, which <laughs> hopefully I can stay under 35. She checked the position of the baby and he has finally moved head down, so yay for that! He was laying sideways for a really long time and um, I ended up doing some exercises to help get him to turn. So if any of you guys are pregnant and your babies are breech or sideways, let me know and I can do a video on the things that I did to get him to turn and I did them with one of my other babies as well who was completely breech and I did them and got her to turn head down so I'm hoping that he stays that way now and he doesn't move again. Another thing is um, back when I had my glucose test at 28 weeks I ended up failing the glucose test and it really upset me really bad because I had just found out that my dad was um, in the beginning stages of diabetes and so it really really upset me a lot but his diabetes was caught early enough that with his diet change and exercise that it can go away and so he's been really good with what he's been eating and exercising and stuff and it's really helped his blood sugar um, stay in the normal range so anyway I was absolutely freaking out over I was just devastated I was so scared more for his well-being than mine I didn't want any complications with him so I ended up having to go in for the three hour glucose test which I did a couple weeks ago at 30 weeks and um, I ended up passing so yay I was so relieved <laughs> sorry that was kind of a spazzy moment but I was I literally almost jumped up and down and I told the nurse on the phone, I was like, you have no idea how much anxiety and stress I have been having over this. And she's like, well, you don't have to have it anymore because your numbers were really good and everything looked great. So I am so relieved and happy for that. So one thing that I have been experiencing from little baby boy in there is um, hiccups. He has just all of a sudden started getting the hiccups like crazy in the last couple weeks. He gets them probably between three and four times a day. And it was funny because I never felt them before and I always kind of was wondering, I'm like, I haven't noticed him hiccuping yet because I always felt that with my other babies and all of a sudden one day, practically the day I said that, he started getting the hiccups and he gets them all the time now. And it's just really cute even though your belly just twitches constantly for like a good five, ten minutes sometimes. Um, it's just so cute and sweet and yeah, you know, along with that, his movements are just still strong and sometimes painful and he just moves all the time. He is constantly moving. There are a few periods in the day where he'll have quiet time where he must be sleeping or whatever but most of the time he is moving and I'm just like man he's either gonna be really active or he's just really like running out of room in there and is like okay I'm getting crammed. So a few symptoms that I've been having these last couple weeks are the first thing I'll talk about is I've started having a little bit of swelling in my ankles and feet. It's not really bad, it's not like noticeable if you just like look at my feet, but if you like, it is usually at the end of the day, but if you like push your finger into my ankle, it'll leave like a little indent. <laughs> and like I said, it's usually only at the end of the day because I'm just busy. I have five other kids in the house to run and dinner to cook and errands to run and 
all that. So um, usually a design will usually start getting swollen until the end of the day. And to kind of go along with that, like in the morning when I wake up, sometimes my feet hurt to stand on and it's really weird. I can't even explain it. They just feel like really tight. Even though they're not swollen in the morning, they just feel like they are and they feel tight. So I usually have to wear like slippers or socks because our house has hardwood through the whole thing and it's really uncomfortable to walk in bare feet on the hardwood. So I usually always have to wear slippers or socks when I'm around the house. Another symptom is I am peeing all the time. I kind of had a break in the middle where I wasn't having to go to the bathroom all the time, but now I am back visiting the bathroom multiple times a day and getting up a couple times in the night to go. And that brings me to the next symptom of not being able to sleep very well. Sleeping is getting harder and it's getting more uncomfortable. And um, sometimes when I wake up to go to the bathroom and I lay back down, then he starts moving around. and. Um, but so yeah, sleeping is getting harder, but it's okay. I it, it, I don't mind. It's um, I just lay there and enjoy the time I have to fill him in my belly, and so it's okay. I can lay down during the day. I'm still getting Braxton Hicks contractions. They've kind of for a few days there. I was getting a lot of them, almost to where I was like maybe I should call my midwife. But I was reassured that you know what I was experiencing was normal. The last few days they've kind of slowed down. I haven't had as many in the last few days. Um, so, but I'm still getting them, but it's more at night. I don't really get them too much in the day. It's just more at nighttime, I think, because I get more tired and um, yeah. So, but I have been still experiencing those, of course. And I've really only been having just a couple of cravings. And those two things I've been craving like mad are brownies and then cherries, like the red cherries that you get at the store. Um, I buy like a big three pound package of them at Costco and I literally devour the whole thing by myself in a matter of a few days. So cherries and brownies have been my two cravings that I've had right now. Yeah, so that does it for this pregnancy update. I don't think there's really anything else to update on. I do have I go one more time in two weeks to my midwife appointment and I start going every week. So this is getting real. I'm this close to going to weekly appointments, which is crazy. So but yeah, I think that's really all that I can think of for this update. If you have any questions for me, please just comment down below and I would be happy to answer them. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe. I really want to do another subscriber giveaway when I reach 1,000 subscribers, so make sure to click subscribe so I can do another giveaway because I appreciate you guys so much. Your support is amazing and I just love you all. And a couple of videos that I am going to be posting soon are uh, my birth plan video and um, why I am choosing to have a natural delivery and no epidural. So look for those two videos. I will be posting those in the next week, week and a half. So if you haven't subscribed and you want to follow this journey and just my everyday life journey, I'm going to start doing day in the lives too because I've had people ask me to do that. So I will be starting to do some day in the life videos as well. Anyway, so that does it for this update. So I guess I will go ahead and show you guys my 32 week belly and then I will talk to you guys next week for 33 weeks. Bye!